I think people are absolutely amazed when they're coming here to Caboolture and are suddenly overwhelmed by this incredible smorgasbord of history. Stained glass section is truly fantastic. It is absolutely a marvellous sort of um, panorama of medieval history from being the oldest stained glass in Australia, dating back to about 14th century perhaps. The collections have really come from Britain's first social history museum, which was started in the 1930s by a man called John Ward. And after his death, the collection eventually made its way to Australia. This is one of the most interesting pieces in the collection. It's actually a demonic figure, a doom creature. It dates from about 1400, made about 600 years ago. I think we probably think that most medieval cathedrals have their stained glass as they were made in, intact, but it's not the case. Stained glass, of course, is a very fragile material and it's gone through an enormous period of destruction over the ages, from the time of the Reformation, when so many stained glass windows were smashed during the time of the dissolution of the monasteries, to the iconoclastic destruction that happened during the time of Cromwell's Puritan soldiers in the English Civil War. This is a good example of how medieval stained glass windows have ended up in a jigsaw of pieces. Part of this one here, for example, are two heads that have been made possibly by the same man who made some of the stained glass for Canterbury Cathedral. And over here we've got fragments which come from another time period. And down here we've got an exquisite little piece that is possibly the oldest known example of blue enamel in stained glass. This is one of the most important fragments of the Winchester Cathedral stained glass. It represents the angel Gabriel, an English heritage, calls it the most significant find in stained glass in the last century. It's really interesting that um, a collection like this exists in Australia. And as a result, it's attracted an enormous amount of interest from overseas institutions and slowly they're starting to come here and find that some of the missing parts of that jigsaw um, of windows which they thought had been lost to Europe are actually here in Australia. Well, what do we think? Strange place for them to end up. Caboolture, mm. yes. who would have thought? <laughs> a mystery while yeah. they're in Caboolture. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, you know what else is a mystery? Tonight's mystery object. Ah, man. Oh, you funny man. I oh, know, it's very smooth, isn't it? Yeah. It's time we got back and had another look before we put it in front of the panel.